Hi, welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to know and learn about an interesting topic that is air. If I ask you where do you find air, what do you say? Well, air is present everywhere. It is all around us. We cannot see it but we can feel the air. Look into this slide here. Flowers, plants are moving with the help of air. So here, air is moving. This moving air is called as wind. And also, if you observe, sailing ships and sailboats move with the help of wind. Wind is nothing but moving air. I think you might have played with kites. Even kites fly with the help of air. And now the question is, what is air exactly? What does it contain? Look here, air is essential in which all living beings like humans, animals, plants live and breathe. Do you know, air has no definite shape, no volume, no color and no smell. It is a mixture of different gases. Look here, about 78% of air is nitrogen and this nitrogen has number of uses. Mainly, it is important for plant growth. But plants cannot use this nitrogen in the air directly. Instead, they get their nitrogen indirectly with the help of microorganisms that are present in the soil. Besides, this nitrogen is important in the preparation of fertilizers, dyes, explosives, etc. And also, nitrogen gas is used for packing of food items. So, in this way, nitrogen in the air has plenty of uses. And the next constituent of air is oxygen. About 21% of air is oxygen. All living beings need it for respiration, that is for breathing. We all living beings breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. And also look here, oxygen in the air is required for burning. You are seeing here, these candles are burning. It means they make use of oxygen in the air for burning. Now, close these candles with a glass tumbler and observe. Once the candles uses up all the oxygen, flame eventually goes up. With this, we must conclude oxygen is required. It is essential for burning. And the next constituent of air is carbon dioxide. About 0.03% of air is carbon dioxide. When we breathe out, we give out carbon dioxide and it is important for all the green plants. Plants make use of carbon dioxide in the air and absorbs water from the soil and sunlight from the sun to prepare its own food. This process of preparing its own food is known as photosynthesis. This process takes place only during daytime when there is sunlight. During daytime to prepare the food, plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen into the air. During night, plants take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. In this way, plants balance levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the environment. So, nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide are the major gases in the air. Along with these, air also contains hydrogen, organ, helium, water vapor and dust particles in trace amounts. So far we have seen air is invisible and it is a mixture of gases. And also, air exhibits certain properties. They are, air occupies a space. To prove this, take a normal balloon. Now blow air into this. As you blow air, balloon expands and the space inside the balloon is occupied by air. So this proves that air occupies space. Moving on to the next property, air has certain weight. To prove this, take one stick, measure and mark it exactly at middle. Take two balloons, tie them to both the ends of stick. Look here, they are perfectly balanced. Now, remove one balloon, blow air into it and tie again. And observe the balance of stick now. The balloon filled with air is heavier than the balloon emptied with air. This is the reason empty balloon moves up and the heavy balloon tilts down. So this shows that air has weight. Our planet earth is surrounded by thick layer of air. This layer of air is called as atmosphere. And there are mainly five layers in our atmosphere. The first layer exactly above earth's surface is known as troposphere. And study about this layer is very essential because we breathe the air right. So this air is present in this layer and also changes in the weather like rain, snow, water cycle occurs in this layer. And the second layer is stratosphere. Ozone layer is present in this layer. This layer protects us from harmful rays from the sun. And the third layer is mesosphere. Asteroids, meteors before they reach earth's surface, they burn up in this layer. So, mesosphere is very important layer for earth's protection. And the next layer is thermosphere. This is the fourth layer exactly above the mesosphere. Temperature in this layer is very hot because this layer absorbs sun's radiation and also satellites orbit the earth in this layer. 
and the fifth layer of atmosphere is exosphere this layer separates the rest of the atmosphere from the outer space and also this layer contains gases like hydrogen and helium and this is all about layers of atmosphere these layers protects and keeps our planet warm and provides us oxygen to breathe We know that air is a mixture of different gases but when it comes in contact with foreign substances harmful chemicals like smoke dust and other chemicals air gets polluted look here harmful chemicals and smoke is released by factories vehicles burning wood etc now these chemicals mixes with air and causes air pollution mainly air pollution causes respiratory problems like asthma pneumonia etc asthma is a condition in which your airway is narrow and causes shortness of breath whereas pneumonia is a kind of lung infection along with this due to the air pollution we should face problems like eye irritation headache etc so to minimize and to reduce air pollution we must adopt few steps in our life For this, we need to plant more trees in our surroundings. This is because plants control the level of carbon dioxide in the air. And try to use bicycle for nearby distances and minimize the use of your motor vehicles. This is because motor vehicles emit smoke, which in turn causes air pollution. Factories should be located at distances far away from cities and towns. And try to plant more trees at industrial areas and complexes because trees reduces the level of pollution in the environment. Last but not least, avoid burning of trees and leaves to reduce air pollution. And this is all about air. If you like this video, like and share and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.